President George H.W. Bush once called it the Super Bowl of Science. This morning, there is a new champion. Some of the nation's top high school students competed to change the world and earn up to $100,000 along the way. Only on CBS This Morning, Wide Andrews introduces us to the winner. If you've ever thought scientists should be as famous as celebrities, this was your place and this was your night. It was a red carpet, black tie, Nobel level celebration of some of the most promising scientists in America and every one of them is still in high school. The winner out of 40 finalists, 17-year-old Eric Chen of San Diego, is developing a drug to prevent the flu virus from spreading. A success for me would be to uh, be able to get a drug actually on the market and saving lives. Saving lives by stopping the flu. Right. The competition is sponsored by the Intel Corporation. It's called the Science Talent Search, and its track record is remarkable. Over 74 years, eight finalists later became Nobel Prize winners. This year, at least 20% of the finalists already have patents for their innovations. Listen to any one of them, and you wonder how America lags behind in math and science. It's very small concentration of nanoparticles mixed with the dyes. Even the smallest secondary metastatic tumors around the body. You have to get the, the DNA into the cells and into the mitochondria. Ten out of the 40 finalists are working on tests or cures for cancer and for Sarah Sakowitz of New York, the research is personal. After losing several relatives to breast cancer, she started working in seventh grade on a gene-based therapy to defeat the disease. You don't have your diploma yet. No, <laughs> I don't even think <laughs> but, I graduated middle school. But you might have a treatment school. for cancer. <laughs> So for just one night, the students shed their lab coats, put on formal wear, and reveled in a pageant staged in their honor. Wendy Hawkins of Intel says that was the point. We want to celebrate them like rock stars, like football players, like movie stars. Which is how they were treated. After all the pictures and hugs, the three top finishers, now the gods of high school science, stepped into an SUV limo and rode into a future they seemed destined to shape. For CBS This Morning, Wyatt Andrews, Washington. Don't we like that? The gods of high school yeah, but, science. And there's nothing more important yes. uh, than making science attractive because these kids can unlock the future. And as she said, celebrating them like rock exactly. stars, like athletes and others. Yeah. Indeed. I didn't see a paper mache volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that?